What I found in business is that uh, you had two categories of men that you dealt with. There were those that you know treated you as a human being, and if you were as effective and smart as you needed to be, then you were fine. And then there, were, there was the other group that looked at you, and the first thing they thought of is, oh, you're a female. And along with that, some biases would often you know, pop into their head. So I remember one particular time I had just been, been named president of Merck's global vaccine business. I'd been with the company over 20 years and had many successes. So I sat down to meet with kind of an old timer who had been running a competitive vaccine company. And the first thing he said to me is, gee, I don't know about this. We've never had a female as a president of a major vaccine company. And I hesitated. I looked him in the eye and I said, you know, when I used to be on the basketball court in the playground behind my parents' house, beating the guys one-on-one -on -one in a basketball game, I never thought of it to be a disadvantage to be a female. I was a better basketball player. And then I smiled meeting went on and he treated me as an equal. I just confronted head on, call him on it. You know, some of these biases are unintentional and you just let him know, I, I don't take that, you know, I'm, I'm effective, I'm good at what I do and I'm not gonna let your bias that I happen to be a, a female get in the way of, of being productive.